friends, this is the Mrs. Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead. Today, I'm making chocolate, chocolate chip zucchini bread. Now this recipe of chocolate zucchini bread makes two loaves, but I haven't done it in a long time, so I've oiled my little mini pans and I've parchmented a bread pan just in case. Here I have, let me see, I'll make sure you can see everything here. Here I have four cups of zucchini. Now this calls for a cup and a half a pack brown sugar, but I only had a half a cup of brown sugar, so I added uh, regular organic sugar. Four eggs, one cup of oil, and one cup or a half a pound of butter. I've melted them together because my butter was hard. A one cup bag or one cup and a half of chocolate chips. You can use whatever kind you like. And in this bowl, I have five cups of flour, two teaspoons of baking powder, one teaspoon of baking soda, and a third of a cup of cocoa. And I have sifted them all together. I'm going to make sure I, you guys can see what I'm doing here. And now, this is our dry ingredients. We're going to put in our sugar and our butter first. Butter and oil. One half a pound of butter, one cup of sunflower oil. I had to top my sunflower oil up with extra virgin olive oil because I'm running low. All right, so let's get this up here and let's get that beating. And then we're going to add our eggs. And we're going to start alternating our flour, cocoa, soda, and baking powder with our zucchini. Oops, getting it all over the place. Um, geez, I almost forgot it. One cup of sour cream. I don't have sour cream, so I'm going to add milk. If you have sour cream, by all means, use sour cream, but I'm going to add a cup of milk. Scrape down the sides. Oh, there's our oven telling us it's ready at 350 degrees. Always scrape down your sides because then you'll know your ingredients are properly mixed. And I'm going to put in half of my chocolate chips. I'm using milk chocolate. You can use semi-sweet if you want. I don't make this that often. This comes in bikini weather how we would expect it. <laughs> okay. Let's get our paddle off. Scrape it off. Get all that yummy goodness. Now, folks, I use less sugar than most. It calls for one and a half cups of packed brown sugar. And this makes like two bread size loaves normally. All right, here we go. Now I'm going to see how much, if this will do in all four pans. I have sprayed my pans with avocado oil. These pans really don't need it, but it, uh, you know, just in case. This reminds me of when I made zucchini bread at Brother John's house in Ohio. Only we didn't have chocolate and, whoops, chocolate and chocolate chips then. Now, I don't recommend using olive oil in this. But I was out of my sunflower oil, and I didn't want to use a whole pound of butter. So I used half sunflower oil, half extra virgin olive oil. All right, I think I'm going to get another loaf. So let's pull out the bread pan. Now, these are supposed to go into a 350 degree oven for an hour until a toothpick comes, or until... A skewer or toothpick comes out clean. 
be advised that these ones are smaller than this one. So they may cook at different times. Oh, how he's going to be so happy that he has this in his lunch tomorrow. So you can see how big of a recipe this actually is. I'm going to drop it, make sure there's no air bubbles. And this is going into a 350 degree oven until a toothpick inserted comes out clean or for about an hour. Check it at 45 minutes though. I almost forgot to top this with chocolate chips. Like I said, you can use semi-sweet. I use milk chocolate when I reduce the sugar, so. Now these are going into a 350 degree oven until uh, for an hour or until a toothpick comes out clean. Please check it at 45 minutes. Okay, our timer on the zucchini bread has gone off. Oh, look at that. Isn't that, ouch. Beautiful. All right. Uh, you'll see Papa try a piece of this later after he, uh, after supper. You can't have it, Gracie. It's chocolate. Sorry. Chocolate is not for puppies. I put less sugar in it, folks. Because stuff like this we like with a little bit of butter on it and it makes it just as rich. Mm. Haven't had it for a while, eh? No. So you've had zucchini three nights in a row and zucchini for dessert tonight. Wow. Awesome. Thank you, dear. This is the Mrs. Wolfie from Our Half Acre Homestead saying Howie has mastered zucchini. Awesome. Take care, God bless.